Wow, I don't think I've ever looked so bad for a video. That's a little better. Still really ugly, but it's okay. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Bridget, and I am back with another video. <laughs> Before we start the video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I come out with new videos, and also give this video a like because you enjoy hanging out with me and I enjoy hanging out with you! Oh god, I'm starving. Whew. I have a lot of updates to do with you guys. I just got back from the gym, so that's why... Yeah. I shaved my hair. That's new. Honestly, that's not really that exciting. I just kind of got bored. Had my hair curly and natural for the past like year and a half. Um, after I cut it like this short and so it grew like all of this or whatever. And um, yeah, I just felt like having it straight for once because I was bored of it. I haven't been on YouTube in like two weeks now. After I did the marathon for the book club, I kind of like felt like a lull. I didn't really like know what I wanted to put out and it wasn't that I didn't have ideas, but I just kind of felt like none of my ideas were good enough. And I know that's stupid because I should just put out content, but um, sometimes I'm human and I hold myself back. So I'm really sorry for that, but I'm back. Um, not going anywhere anytime soon. I also had a breakout if you guys can see all that. I usually have like really clear skin and I kind of pride myself on having clear skin um, because I used to go through really bad acne when I was younger. Not even when I was younger, literally up until I was like 19. And then I cleared it up and my skin was really clear. And then this past like month, I guess, I've just been going through it. Basically, since I moved to LA, I've been, you know, trying to put myself out there more, trying to do more, trying to meet more people. If you guys follow me on social media, you see that I just like go out very often. I have all these new friends. Like I'm just really working on being comfortable in my own skin and like giving myself a chance to experience the world because that's something I've always wanted to do and I've always held myself back from that or I've let other people hold me back from that and now I'm like, fuck that, I want to experience my life while I'm still young and I still fucking can because I only have one of them so I might as well do it. So, <laughs> along with the going out, I guess because I live in LA, that kind of also includes the makeup. I don't have to wear a lot of makeup, but I don't know. Like, I really enjoy makeup and so every time I go out, it feels like an excuse to put makeup on. Sorry, I'm like bothered by the little pudginess of my stomach. That's why I keep squirming around. But um, anyways, so I started going out a lot and at first it wasn't like an issue. I was getting zits every once in a while, like maybe like, one over here, like one on my chin or something like that. But I was taking care of it. Then I got really busy, like to the point where I was gone out of my house for like 12 hours out of the day, which is really unusual for me because I'm a homebody. I was getting like stress zits um, and putting makeup on top of stress zits because I didn't have time to really take care of my skin because I was out so much and just doing so much. Then I actually did something really stupid and before I even tell you guys about it, don't like take this as an example for your own life or like a warning for your own life because honestly like it just it would just happen to me. I have like really sensitive skin, right? And I'm like allergic to aloe vera, petrolatum, and vitamin E. And I've known this my entire life, but for some reason, Bridget's brain, I kind of just was like fuck that and <laughs> i've been hearing a lot of great stuff about aloe vera right like online and stuff like that and so i was like i want to try it like i want to see what happens if i use some aloe vera so i had these stress zits like on my nose and in the middle of my forehead i put aloe vera on them for like three days straight where i was just like piling on the aloe vera because i thought it was helping but it really was not helping. It was burning the shit out of my skin. So the zits went away, but the uh, skin got burnt. So now my nose has been peeling for the past like little while. Um, 
it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. So that's pretty dumb. Um, <laughs> I think this also contributed to my skin, but for the past like three weeks to a month, I've like stopped working out. I think that even though I was wearing so much makeup before, the working out consistently and like sweating my skin out consistently was really helping keep it clear. But since I decided to take a break and like not really work out consistently at all, skin just went back to fucked up. So that sucks. Um, but today, your girl got back in the gym. So that was good. I actually just came back from that. That's why I look like this. I think I told you guys that already in this video. So as you guys know, I've been back in LA for about three months now. I am the world's biggest procrastinator. So it's taken me this long to really like unpack and like put together my room, but I'm currently in the process of that. I've been vlogging the process of it. As soon as it's done, I will give you guys a full room tour. It'll be really cute. It's not gonna be like ugly like it is in the background currently. Sorry about that. But it'll be cute, I promise. I'm gonna get like a new bedspread and I've been putting like my artwork and stuff on the walls. I'm gonna make more artwork to put on the walls, like displaying like book collection, like all that kind of stuff. So it'll be really great really soon and I'm excited to share that with you guys. So speaking of the hair, well, I guess we weren't really talking about the hair, but just like, you know, going back to that. So obviously heat damage, that's not fun. And I've been having to touch up like my roots a lot. So I have no idea how my hair is gonna come back when I do decide to wash it and go back to curly. So I was thinking it'd be fun to take you guys on that journey too of like fixing whatever damage I end up doing to my hair currently. I also really need to trim it because it looks super long, but because it's curly, I like never trim my hair and my ends are like raggedy as fuck. I'm probably gonna have to trim it, you know, take a couple, like a week or so of like deep conditioning just to get my curls to bounce back. So yeah, I was like, I could totally share that with you guys too. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. I guess the only other real update that I have for you guys is actually probably the best update that I have for you guys. Um, I'm gonna insert the video here. Okay, so just received the best mail I think I'm gonna receive ever. See that address right there? Yup, you know, you know what that means. You know what that means. I think this means I'm officially divorced. Woo! Woo! I don't know, like what I'm actually supposed to see, but yeah, I think that's what this means. Effective date of termination of marital or domestic partnership status is 831 18B. Yeah, so your girl is officially single, like legitimately single. Like if I fell in love again and wanted to get married, um, knock on wood, cause that's not happening for a quite long time. But if I did, I could get remarried. Um, <laughs> that's like probably one of the best feelings in the whole world that it's literally completely done. You guys know, you came along with me um, for the whole like journey of like me getting it signed and you guys know how I felt about all that stuff. Now that it's literally completely in the past, I feel so amazing. You don't understand, like, Oh, I'm free! Oh my god. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's the update. That's everything that's going on in my life. I also did a really cool project I can't wait to share with you guys. It's related to the book, A Woman Who Run With Wolves. So yeah, you guys, like, I'm really excited to share that with y'all. It was a collab and it was really, really, really freaking dope. Like, you guys, you guys will love it. 
yeah so i think that's all there is to really talk about i feel so inspired when i make youtube videos i love talking with you guys i love just like interacting with you guys oh my gosh um if you have yet to subscribe make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of any new videos that i post also go ahead and like this video because you liked it <laughs> follow me on my social media too to keep up with me because sometimes when i take these breaks like i definitely am still posting on instagram that's probably my number one social media i don't really post on twitter or uh facebook like that so follow me on instagram because that's where i be at <laughs> i love y'all so much bye